I was at the play on and after after the game I went to my phone and just seen all the texts and it kind of kind of clued into me that I was an NHL draft pick so it was a pretty crazy day. So you're playing a street hockey game and your phone blows up. Um, what goes through your mind when you realize this has happened? Well, I jumped in the fence and started started going a little bit crazy and then I just kind of broke down almost and all my buddies started hugging me and they didn't really know what was going on at first but then they kind of clued in to what really just happened. You've been working a long time for this. Uh, tell us a little bit about your hockey background. I moved away when I was 14 so uh, for me to be drafted to the NHL yesterday or two days ago that was that was the biggest thing that ever happened to me because I just sacrificed so much for the game and it kind of feels like the game's given back now, you know? It's not just you, I guess it's your parents, your family. I mean, what goes into, um, first of all, getting to the level where you're playing in the Quebec Major Junior League and then being drafted? Yeah, well, they just sacrificed so much for me. So for me and my family, it's just so big for this to happen. What happens next? I'm going to camp in uh, the 9th and... That's just a development camp, and then the main camp will be in September, right before the season starts. So I'm not expecting to make the team this year, but uh, I'm going to go in and just work as hard as I can and just make a good impression on the organization and then hopefully go back to junior and have a good season. Now, I know uh, doing a little bit of reading on you before the interview, you worked pretty hard last summer to put on a little bit of weight and bulk up a bit. What, what, what will you have to do to make it to the next level in terms of, in terms of work and development? I think I'm just going to be bigger and stronger and uh, just keep, keep my competitive edge on the ice. And that's, how, that's where I see myself in the NHL as, as more, of a, uh, more of an energy guy type player who has, who has some skill, obviously, but, but it's just more of a guy who's going out and just getting your team going and uh, just doing everything for your club, doing whatever it takes to win. As far as current NHL players go, who would you be modeling your game on? I think I'm a JT Brown type player. Uh, he's like a pesky fast forward and that's, where I, that's the kind of player I see myself as. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I hope you continue to be pesky uh, in the NHL. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks a lot.